In this video, I show you how you can set ServiceNow to automatically generate an asset tag for a new asset. You can use these generated asset tags to print your own physical tags for your assets. To begin, all changes to ServiceNow should be created in your development instance and captured as part of an update set. The changes can then be tested and moved to production when they are ready. All changes here, I'm going to create a new update set. Auto generate asset tags. And I'm going to set it to my current set and submit that. Notice my current update set has been changed to auto generate asset tags. With this update set configured, you can now set up the automatic creation of an asset tag. I'm going to navigate to Asset Management, Hardware Assets, and open up any record. I'm going to right click the Asset Tag Label and Personalized Dictionary. Notice the table, let's close this. Notice the table isn't hardware. I was in hardware assets, which is hardware, ALM underscore hardware, but the table here is asset, ALM underscore asset. So any change that I make here, because this field exists in the parent table and not the hardware table itself, any change I make here affects all asset types. I'm going to set the default value to this little JavaScript, which will get the next object number, and that uses the number maintenance in ServiceNow to generate a new number. Update. Now with this set, it's time to test. So if I come back to Hardware Assets, I can create a new asset. Notice the asset tag is populated here automatically. And notice the prefix on it. It's given a prefix of hardware based on the table that extends asset. So that is something to keep in mind when you're creating new assets is that it's going to create that asset tag based on the extended table, not the base table that you identified the dictionary setting on. This will only work on newly created assets. It is not something that will generate a new asset tag for assets that already exist in your system. To do that, you would need to set up a UI action or run some other script. Now let's see what this looks like with a license asset as well. So if create a new software license, notice the asset tag is created with a prefix of software license. You might not want to use these prefixes. You might want to identify your own prefixes or your own number scheme for your asset tags. To configure those values, you'd go to number maintenance. You would go to the number maintenance module. That is under system definition. You can start typing number in the type filter text of the application navigator. And if I search here for the table, we had hardware. You can see, you can see that you can identify a prefix. Maybe you just want to use HW for hardware. Another thing that you may want to change if you have a very large number of assets is maybe you want to use a, a higher number of digits. So I'll update that. You can also do it for software. prefix of software license isn't is pretty long so maybe you just want to use software again you may want to adjust the number of digits used update that and now when you create a new hardware asset it uses that new prefix notice we also you also have 10 digits here in the number. Creating a new license asset, you end up with the new software prefix. 
With model categories properly identified in your environment, ServiceNow also creates assets from CIs. If I create a new CI, it will also generate a new asset. So I'm going to go to Computer here, Base Item Computers under Configuration, and create a new computer. Asset123, let's is, is just give it the name, computer name. I'm not going to set an asset tag here because it is going to automatically be generated. I'll just make it an Apple MacBook Air and save this. Model categories are set up to identify that uh, an asset should be created for every computer CI in the environment and it created a new asset and you can see that when it created that new asset it also generated an asset tag. There's the asset tag and now going back to the configuration item because that field synchronizes that asset tag is also listed in the CI record. Now this setup works fine if you want a standard asset tag for all your hardware devices. So if you want HW or whatever prefix you wish to use in your environment. But if you wanted to generate a different asset tag for each type of asset, perhaps you want a different asset tag for your servers or maybe your Windows servers versus your Linux servers, you can automatically generate the asset tag on the CI's asset tag field instead. To do this, I will use a different instance here so that I'm not mixing auto-created asset tags and so you can see the difference. And here I will go to computer, just as before. I also point out that you would want to create an update set for capturing these changes. I will not do that here. We can, I will right click on the asset tag as before and personalize dictionary. Notice the table on this field is in the configuration item base table. So this is a field that exists on the configuration item, not on the asset field. And it is a field that is synchronized. And this is one benefit to having this field separate is that you can utilize it to automatically generate based on the configuration item type, which gets more specific than the asset type. I'll set that same JavaScript that gets the next object number and update that. As before, you can see that it automatically creates a prefix for computer. And you can go to number maintenance as before and set up the different options you want. You don't need to have it create a new one first. You can create new number maintenance to be ready for those. So take the example where maybe you do want a different asset tag based on whether it is a Windows server or Linux server. Maybe not the best example because a server could change if you install a different operating system. But I, I will use it as the example here. So I've got my Windows server. And maybe I want a prefix of WSVR. And submit that. Create a new one for Linux server. Maybe this will be LSVR. Submit that. And now when I create a new Windows server, Win server one. Notice the asset tag begins with WSVR. You can set up a model. I will pick a Lenovo Think server. And I'm going to save this so that you can see the asset get created. Notice that asset tag pops right over. And it would be the same if I did a Linux server. 
the asset tag that gets generated has the LSVR. Linux server one, grab a Linux server here, save this, and the asset gets created. As with the previous configuration where the asset tags are generated from the asset record, we've got the configuration model of model categories that will create a new asset based on a CI creation and vice versa. So if a new asset is created in this system, go to Hardware Assets, create a new Windows server, identify the model, Lenovo Think server here, and save this. You'll notice the asset tag doesn't get populated automatically. The configuration item was just created. So if I go over to the configuration item, I can see that that asset tag it exists there. And actually, the something need, it needs to save. So maybe this is our win server 2. And I'll just update, and it will go back to the asset automatically. That asset tag gets moved over on the save of that. So if the asset is created first, that asset tag may not show up right away if you configured your asset tag to be generated on the uh, configuration item. And th there may need to be a save that is performed on that configuration item. So where do you go from here? Based on your asset governance, you should determine who should have the ability to edit the asset tag field and possibly change these automatically generated values. Uh, you want that limited to a certain number of people so that you can maintain your standards. If you want to create an asset tag for existing assets, you may want to consider creating a UI action or setting up a script that would allow you to generate asset tags for those existing assets. Also, when you have tested your changes, do not forget to complete the update set so that you can move your auto generation of asset tags from your development environment to your production environment. I hope you found this to be useful.